Hi everyone, my name is Cindy and we're going to do some DIYs related to Vintage Valentine. And so I have a little shirt to kind of go along with it. I am vintage, so in fact my birthday is coming up or by the time this video shows, it will be past. So, happy birthday to me. I have three vintage Valentine DIY for you. DIY number one, vintage striped heart coasters. The supplies needed include plaster of Paris and cold water, paper vintage striped hearts, molds, khaki and crimson acrylic paint, dish water safe Mod Podge, and some cork. I mix the powdered plaster of Paris with cold water to a soft consistency. Now, I did not use the formula, but if you do, it is approximately one and a half to two cups of plaster to one cup of water and maybe a little bit more. So you get a nice creamy consistency. Make sure it is without lumps and all of the contents are mixed. Now, I ended up mixing about two batches to fill four molds. Now it is time to pour in the mold. I usually shake the mold to help get rid of some of the bubbles, or you might see me popping them with my finger. And clean around the surface of the mold. Now you do not want to overfill, but just fill it right to the rim. I waited about 24 hours and then removed them and let them dry for another few hours. It seems as if they have a lot of moisture once removed from the molds. After completely dry, you can sand around the circumference or remove the extra plaster with your finger. I put another coat of Mod Podge and made sure the printables were flat. And to protect your tabletop, I cut some Dollar Tree cork and pasted it to the bottom of the coaster. This vintage DIY takes you back in time. What a nice throwback. DIY number two, vintage seed hearts. The supplies needed are some flower seed packets from the Dollar Tree, an egg carton or pink cardstock paper, some red food dye, and if you don't want to use red food dye, you can use pink or white or red cardstock paper, hot water, a heart cookie cutter, and a blender I only use for crafts, string, and some tags. Now this is a project that will give back and give beautiful floral results. I tore bits and pieces of a carton and put it in the blender that is just for crafts and poured hot water and I just let it set overnight. Now when you do this, it allows for the fibers to break down. And in the morning, I turn on the blender to shred and blend the papers. I put just a little bit of red food dye in the mixture, but if you have too much water, it becomes diluted and the red will not be pronounced for your hearts. Now, when you use the food dye, you need to don your gloves to avoid any red dye on your hands. Now, it will come off, but it, it takes a little bit. And I drained off the water. And you can have a screen and just kind of push the water through the screen so that your mixture won't fall through. So the screen is small. 
Now I mix the flower seeds in the mixture and put it into the heart mold. Now I had to continue to squeeze much of the water with a towel within the heart mold and I just left it to dry. I tried to make them thin so they would be easier to dry. Well, it still took about two days because I made some thicker and some thinner, but I think they turned out very nice. Now, the reason why you want them thin is because you want most of the water gone out of the, the heart because if you don't, then they'll start to sprout. But it still took about two days, but it turned out very nice. I had some hearts that were the same color as the egg carton, some pink like the cardstock paper, and some with the egg carton with food dye. I put a Happy Valentine's Day tag on them and it says, place me in just under the soil, water me and watch me grow. I'm giving three of these away. So if you would like one, make sure you are subscribed and let me know and I'll send them to you. My Vintage Heart is an open collaboration hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Antoinette Decorating. These are awesome women, so be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment. The link to their channels is in the description box below. Also, please show the other collaborations some love and check out their channels. The playlist is in the description box below and it can also use hashtag MyVintageValentine. So my last DIY, number three, is a vintage door wreath. The supplies needed include a wall tile, wire, six different types of ribbon, a cardboard heart, a sticker that says 14, one bead, one key, some jute, khaki acrylic paint, and some antique wax, and of course you need a hole punch. And you also need a wire heart form and some torn fabric. Now I took a wall tile and painted it white and then rubbed brown wax over it. I punched two openings at the top and the wire was twisted. Near the top, I tied five different ribbons and glued them near the top. A red glittered heart was glued to the top of the ribbon and I put the number 14 in the middle of the heart. At the bottom of the heart, I glued a clear bead and tied a striped bow topped with a tiny taupe velvet bow above the bead. And then a key was strung on the jute and hung on the bead. Now, I had it originally, it was looking really plain, so I thought I needed to jazz it up a little bit. So I found some fabric on an old pillowcase that I wasn't using, and I cut fabric in strips, and I just tied them to the wire wreath that was in the shape of a heart, and I just tied ribbon until it was all around, and then I took the heart and hot glued it at the top and the bottom so that it would stay on the wire wreath. And I hung it on the door. How vintage and pretty. Now, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe, like, save, and comment. I am still waiting to give a prize to a subscriber when I reach 1500. In December, I had reached 1,500, and all of a sudden, they were taken away from me. I don't know what happened, but that's what occurred. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. 
Thanks for watching and I appreciate all of your comments. And remember, joy is a vitamin for the soul. You should have a little every day. This is from goodwith10.com. See you later. Bye-bye.